All right, guys, today I want to talk about how fasting and high protein carnivore can completely jack your sex hormones. Now, this is very interesting because I do consultations every day and I've mentioned this concept in videos many different times and over the years, but I'm 55. And of course, now I'm steadfast on my way to being 56. And I've been doing keto for almost 16 years straight. Now, you guys can see over the years that I've actually sort of hacked my own health. And you can see that I've aged backwards sort of over time. And that's why I do these videos is to try to teach you guys how not to hurt or injure yourself with wrong information. When you fast, your body needs to get energy from somewhere. It's not going to access fat because, well, fat does not make your energy bill high. If your body is, in, is a house, then muscles are going to make your energy bill, your electric bill high and not the fat. The fat's just sitting there like a blob. There's no blood vessels running through. It's just sitting there. Whereas muscle, muscle needs food. It needs rest. It needs stretching and massage. It needs a lot. And if your body thinks it's starving because you're fasting, it's going to dump muscle first, right? Let's just get rid of the thing that's going to make us starve quicker and die quicker. Let's just get rid of muscle in an emergency. Your body's going through a fight or flight process when you don't eat because food is medicine, but it's also energy. It's like gasoline. Somehow food has become demonized and people start fasting because they want to lose weight. People start doing carnivore because they want to lose weight. And they're not really, they say, like I do these consultations every day and people say, oh, I want to be healthy, but really they want to lose weight. And in that process of chasing the fat, they just get more fat. I remember years ago when I started working out, I couldn't understand. I've watched these people on treadmills and just, if you start working out and you watch, you're watching people over time, they're just getting fatter and flabbier and they're fasting they're doing fasted cardio and they're just never getting more muscular or becoming more muscular or leaning out. Well, now I understand. So the body will break down amino acids in the body. That's protein anywhere, skin, collagen, muscle, your reproductive system. Now this is the problem. There's a concept it's called pregnenolone steel. And this is what's going on. I think to most people, and I am trying to stop this madness in my own body. So let me pull up this image here. Let's talk about pregnenolone steel. Check out this chart. It's this very simple chart, but what you guys don't understand is that when you don't eat or you're doing a high protein carnivore diet, which will not allow you to keto adapt, protein is a horrible source of energy because you can't get stored glycogen out of just a bunch of protein. So the body has to go and break down amino acids in your body via gluconeogenesis. And if you keep doing this, you're going to put your body right in that corner into a cortisol stress response. A lot of people develop a thing called pregnenolone steel. Not only the eating disorders from fasting and OMAD and eating high protein, but also cortisol has to go up because I told you, your body needs gasoline. Food is medicine. And food is gasoline. And if you don't eat it, the body has to raise the cortisol, right? It has to release the cortisol via the adrenal glands. And if you're just constantly, constantly in a fight or flight state of uh, state because you're not eating enough, the body goes through a crisis, it will start to the pathways of pregnenolone, progesterone, DHEA, cortisol, estrogen, and uh, testosterone. Basically what happens with this tree, they call it, is to protect your body, the body will start going towards cortisol 
production and shutting off estrogen and testosterone production. So it's just, let's just make more cortisol, more cortisol and lower, lower, lower your sex hormones. And then also progesterone gets caught up in this cortisol madness, right? That whole thing with DHEA and cortisol being the leader of the down regulation of the sex hormones, because when you're stressed, you're not going to make a baby. You need to make cortisol because we need to run real fast from a lion. So cortisol, 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 and this is all happening within the adrenal system. So as you can see, our sex hormones are made 50% of them for women in your adrenal system. So let me go back. Put me like this. Okay. A lot of you women who are going through menopause, now menopause can last two years, 10 years. It's all up to your adrenals back there. Okay. Do you want to burn out your adrenals because your body's going through the cortisol pathway rather than the, let's make the sex hormones pathway and get lean and strong and fit? So yeah, when you're going through this whole adrenal stress, this fight or flight thing, your body is going to do this pregnenolone steal. The adrenals are not going to care about your sex hormones. That is the reason why you people, you women and men, men go through menopause. Okay. Their, their testes shut down. They start producing too much estrogen, especially estrone within the fat cells. And then that, then their body starts to produce a dehydrotestosterone and they start balding and they get soft and they get depressed and depression plays a big role when their estrogen is too high, especially if they're taking in exogenous estrogens from plastic bottles and from, you know, non-organic foods. And then they're fasting on top of that, going through the pregnenolone steel and adrenal stress. Our adrenals, women like me, my muscles aren't going nowhere. Because I, I'm telling you right now, I am working my ass off to get to calm. People are like, oh, Stephanie, you're never going to slow down. I'm like, oh, yes, I will. Oh, yes, I will. Oh, yes. The goal is quite evident as I go through peri symptoms right now. And my body's transitioning into that long stage of peri. Because peri can last for years. That's where I'm at right now. I'm going to protect these adrenals back here. And I am going to keep my testosterone, which is made in the adrenal glands as well. And the, the ovaries lower. Some women, it just completely burns out. But you can just lower those hormones where they're barely humming. And, and your adrenal glands are all stressed out because you're going, you're running from a lion and your body's not going to have a baby and you're not going to um, uh, be lean and fit and, and strong when you're that pathway, as you can see right there of cortisol is just constantly being made rather than your sex hormones being balanced. And, uh, so with my own body, I'm like, okay, I'm not going to go through the flashes and the, 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 the shrinking atrophied vaginas and, you know, the, the belly fat forming and the, the, the testosterone just completely gone and losing my muscles and, and uh, losing my bone density and things of this nature. No, we're not going through that because we're going to keep the blood sugar stable by doing a ketogenic diet for me personally, right? There's no fasting in my world. I don't need to fast. No, I just need to take care of my adrenal system. And of course, all those other things like my electrolytes and my blood sugar and my um, uh, thyroid hormone. Now, this pathway that I'm showing you right here also can mess with the thyroid because you have your hypothalamus, pituitary adrenal, and thyroid axis. So you've got the adrenal, right, the adrenal glands, and then you have the thyroid axis. So a lot of men and now, a lot of women and now men are experiencing this like incredible cortisol pathway, pregnenolone still, and there's like cortisol, cortisol, fast, fast, fast. OMAD, OMAD, OMAD. The body's like, I'm not getting the energy. So I got to go through the fight or flight response 
tap into my adrenal system, men's testosterone starts dropping, their gonads aren't functioning properly, women's uh, ovaries start burning out, their adrenals burn out, and then they start getting flabby, and they start to become depressed, and they start gaining weight. And then now the fat cells are signaling more estrone. So you're, they're just making more fat within the fat cells, which is signaling the body to store more fat and make more fat. And just, you're just this fat, you know, machine making thing. And then all the hormones that make you young and vital, like, you know, hair production or circulation or um, muscles or skin dexterity, all of that stuff goes out the window. You guys are doing high protein. And then protein is not a good source of energy. So your body has to go into gluconeogenesis to try to remain, like get the glucose back up and stable when really the glucose just starts going up here because you are coming from the land of, where is it? That way, cortisol. You're omatting and you're eating high protein. So all of this plays an incredible role in the out of whackness of your body and then you start becoming leptin resistant and then that pathway goes even higher with cortisol and then you gain even more weight and now the symptoms like i was writing down some of the symptoms like the collagen loss the hair loss the depression that i can't sleep because i either have a thyroid problem or i'm having an estrogen problem and women are just running towards hrts and the doctors will say, no, 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 it's normal, it's fine. We're, we're, you don't have to worry about cancer from taking hormone replacement therapy. Yes, you do. Uh, you don't need to worry about like your estrogen. You Not on every woman does your uh, ovaries just completely stop. Peri can last a while if you take care of your adrenal glands. The solution is not taking a pharmaceutical thing or, okay, well, I'm not losing weight fast enough, so I'll just, I'll even eat less fat which is crazy because that whole sex, the sex hormone side, the DHEA and the estrogen and testosterone is made of cholesterol. So you need to eat that high fat as you're doing a ketogenic or high fat carnivore diet. If you're doing high protein and your cholesterol isn't high enough, right? And then you're omatting or you're, you're intermittent fasting, you're hitting that cortisol pathway again. You don't believe me? Look at people when they get into their 50s. Look at them. They're losing muscle mass. They're losing bone. They're losing their hair. They're losing the dexterity of their skin. They're losing their energy. And then you see these carnivore people or OMAD people like, oh, just drink coffee. I mean, you cannot make this stuff up. And what does coffee do? It is becoming more cortisol driven exacerbating all of your issues. Women who are going through menopause, girls, women, uh, younger women, I'm sorry, who, who are um, having an in, inconsist, inconsistent menstrual cycle due to either so much stress in their life or these just awful fasting, like, dare I say, anorexic, you know, kind of dieting. You have to be careful with everything you say now on this panel. You want to do a high fat carnivore diet, not a high protein diet, because if you do high protein, you're going to access that cortisol pathway. And then you don't get the cholesterol that you need to even make all your sex hormones and try to protect your progesterone that it drops so low, so low. Okay. The adrenals are everything. And if you don't have enough sodium, potassium, magnesium, like it jacks up that pathway even more so you're even more cortisol driven when you don't have the balance of your electrolytes because you're eating a bunch of protein very very interesting stop eating so much protein on stop calling it priming stop calling it like these weird things you have to the reason why i talk this way is because i'm talking to you know, think about it. i'm in my 50s so women in their mid 50s just run towards me and they're like steph what the frack do I do? What is going on? Like, what are you doing? How do I do it? Right? A man is not always going to connect with that. Men are not going to connect with a woman's emotions. You know, they're just not. 
And I feel so like connected to both like men and women because with the men, like with me being a pro skateboarder or with me going to the gym and just constantly being around guys and listening to the, the stories, being in the fitness industry, having men starting to take exogenous things like testosterone to, to deal with their loss for, with their depression with their gonad issues, with their androgen issues, with their estrogen issues, with their depression issues, with their sleep issues, with their blood sugar issues, because the destabilization of, de destabilization of your blood sugar because you're eating too much protein. And I've told you guys, when you eat too much protein, it can act like you're eating a candy bar, not in every, every individual's body, but a lot of people who come from the standard American diet who don't know how to regulate their blood sugar. And if you don't believe me, go test your A1C. You can test your C peptides, you can test your A1C, or you can test your fasted blood sugar, but you can watch your blood sugar. And when your blood sugar is doing this, that's what's really interesting about the A1C because it's a snapshot over three months. So even sometimes when people test their fasted blood sugar and it looks normal, but then over three months, or if they test their insulin, they'll start seeing why they become so cortisol driven, right? And then all of a sudden stress and protein becomes a destabilizing your blood sugar. And when your blood sugar is like this, so is your adrenal function and it starts to go like that because the pathways become more cortisol driven than the youth and vitality of making your estrogen, progesterone and testosterone. Do not fast, keep your blood sugar stable. You are not coming from the world of, of hunter gatherers where they would rest and digest. We don't rest and digest. We pay bills, we do cardio, you know, we just, I forget to eat, you know, it, it's just, I keep hearing these things and all the consultations, like I forget to eat or I'm not hungry. And they don't understand that when you're not hungry, the, again, that cortisol pathway is being lit within your adrenal system. Coffee, fasting, stress, being obsessed with their body image. Um, like the people not balancing their electrolytes, not knowing how to breathe properly. We're, I go to the gym and I watch people work out incorrectly all the time, impinging on their joints, on their plumb line, on their j just like they're using levers, they're not breathing properly, they're working out really late, which again becomes a cortisol pathway. That's why. That's why I have people use a glucometer to test their blood sugar because it'll run high through cortisol, right? The breakdown of amino acids, <sighs> proteins in the body to raise your blood sugar to try to keep you stable because the body does not understand that the stress that you're putting on the body is not survival. It's just modern human stuff. Your body thinks that it's trying to survive. So it goes into the stress pathway to keep you alive, to keep your blood sugar going, to get you through the danger rather than, oh, we're going to have a baby because if your body's running from a lion, you're not going to have a baby. You're not going to poop. You're not going to digest properly. You're not going to sleep properly. You just are surviving. So watch people have have all these symptoms, the collagen loss, the hair loss, the mood, this, the, the awful sleep, especially women who are going through menopause and their sleep and their mood. None of this. Thank because I've put a lot of pressure on my adrenals in the last two years that I have not like my sleep is not destroyed. Like that is, I think a lot of it is because I got my horse and I'm forced to be outside and catch the circadian rhythm. Like diet is another playing a role in this whole stress response. We're not getting enough vitamin D you're not getting the selenium, the zinc, the copper, the iodine, the selenium, the, the vitamin C you're not getting the right nutrients. And also with the cholesterol, the fat in your diet, the fat soluble, soluble vitamins, the omega threes, you're not getting enough of these as well as, as well as tools for the adrenal system or for hormone, hormonal production. So I'm doing this video to get you guys to stop fasting, just stop doing it. Stop drinking the coffee, stop drinking the caffeine, stop skipping meals, stop forgetting to eat, stop being afraid of fat. And yes. You can gain weight by eating fat. It's not the fat. It's the fact that you went and did the cortisol pathway, which is to break down amino acids and raise the blood sugar. That's what the design is. Give you energy to run from a line. Raise the blood sugar, raise the blood sugar, raise the blood sugar, raise the blood sugar, and then you eat some fat. Well, everything's going to get stored. 
That's why you got to take care of your adrenal glands. Men who's, I don't know, so many younger guys now are low testosterone. And then they're just running to the doctor and the doctor's shoving it in them pellets. And women are rubbing on the creams or taking the, the HRTs. And you will have these naturopathic doctors say like, no, 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 this is good. Or your OBGYN or any of the, the, the doctors that are dealing with men. No, no, this is fabulous. This is great. Just take this little pill. This is fabulous. No one talks about protecting your adrenal system. As I go through Perry right now at 55, body's on fleek. Body's on fleek. Because I'm not trying to destroy this blessed, beautiful body that I was given. I'm only going to be Stephanie one time, you guys. Why would I ever mess that up? People are like, oh my God, what kind of... But I'm so limited. I don't have that many food options. And I'm like, good. That's what got you in trouble. The variety of food. Y'all need to focus on just being in the moment. Don't have to be caught up with the phone. Be in the moment. Getting these horses has completely... I moved from freaking Hollywood, okay, or I live two not blocks from Hollywood Boulevard to, to a, a, a nothing town somewhere in, in, in Tennessee. And I wanted it to be that way. I needed to reconnect with my humanity. And I have to remind you guys to stop chasing weight loss. Because the more you chase it, the more you're not going to achieve it. You're going to age yourself exponentially with these extreme things to achieve the non-achievable goal. Oh, well, Stephanie, I want to look like you. And I'm like, well, first of all, I'm not going to complain about the food that I am so gratefully given that this mother earth provide, is providing me. I'm not going to complain about my choices. I'm not going to complain about the liver because I know it's giving me life. I'm not going to complain about nature's things. And the fact that I have to be challenged by life, that gives me hope. And hope gives me this body. Because if everything's easy, there's nothing to, to fight for. Like having my horses right outside my window. <laughs> and walking around. Because I put some mats out there. I didn't want them standing on cement. It's raining right now. It's those concerns that I have. And not constantly like the mirrors in my place suck. There's that one mirror, but I never look at it. It's like... When you're in a home, like everything's so small, I can't like see, and I'm just, I'm just existing in this little tiny shoebox RV camper. But I feel like more present when I walk outside to check the animals than if I'm in a mirror. Like when you're in a home and you're in the bathroom or checking yourself in the mirror and doing whatever. It's so crazy how much life my life has changed trying to escape pregnenolone steel. The way I look at the gym, the way I look at my body, I can't believe at 55, I've got these gym goals that are just so fun. Like just when you think it's so boring to work out, I figure out all new ways on how to just treat this body with like respect and love and not be picky about, oh, I got to eat this or, oh, that, or, oh, this is restrictive. I choose to do a keto omnivore diet. You guys can still eat starch. I choose not to do it. Um, but it, I help people who are still wanting to eat starch because I understand that some people have gallbladder problems or severe hypoglycemia and they don't know how to get their stress under. Most people don't. I also do keto omnivore. That's where I sit. And there's carnivore for people who've got severe inflammatory issues. And it's a great platform to bring that inflammation down before you start adding back variety to keep the body in homeostasis. But don't use extreme measures to lose weight because the first thing you're going to do is jack your sex hormones, especially the ones made within the adrenal system, synthesized within your adrenal glands. And without the adrenal glands, you're going to age like this. And I don't care what pill you take, what thing you put in your booty, um, for the men, I don't know, care what pellets you shove under your skin. I don't care that if you don't take care of your adrenal system, 
that stuff won't matter. You're still going to age fast. That's why I see so many men where I'm just like, face does not match the body. Yep, because they're using exogenous things to try to fake, get their hormones up instead of just taking care of their nutrition, self-love, breathing, stretching, taking care of the adrenal system and shutting off technology. Just, just, just get outside sometimes. I hope this video helped. It was an impromptu. I want to go more into the subject. A lot of women are like, talk about menopause, talk about menopause. Well, the first thing I want to say is you need to change your life. Get out of the cities. Eat some real food. Chew your food slow. Talk to your partner. You know how many partners don't agree with somebody doing one of these low-carb diets? I'm like, why are you with that person? Why? But to pay bills? Your partner should be your best friend. And your kids should have respect for you. It's so hard. Life is not. Poverty is hard. Illness is hard. Everything else we create in our mind. So change your mind. Change your reality. Change your body. I swear I'm not a hippie. Even though it looks like I'm a hippie, but I'm not a hippie. I'm just energy. I'm so excited for life. Oh my God. We're getting closer and closer and closer to, for me, what I find to be just so amazing, which is getting fencing up, getting a little shelter for my horses, getting a tiny little house and sitting on my deck on my little mountain, my mountain, it's actually a hill where I can watch them below and just breathe the fresh air and just freaking enjoy the moment so I can get rid of that cortisol and get back to the estrogen and the testosterone. 55. So I'm talking about get your blood sugar stable, people. Stop eating all that protein. Stop fasting and OMAD. All it's doing is making you age. If you guys want to learn more, go to stephanieperson.com. If you want to book a consultation or join my course where I cover all the diets. Yes. And uh, you can stay right here. Comment below. Tell me what's going on with you and your, this little image got to go. Tell me what's going on with you guys. Uh, also what other subjects you want me to cover. It's so interesting because lately I've been going into the whole, I was in the deep dive of the fitness world a long time ago. And now my interest in the fitness world is back to see like their mind, like what young people are thinking today on what they find fit women, a lot of women who are like, like eight pack abs and like super lean women, normal women don't understand their own stuff. Um, yeah, so I've just been expanding my horizons on what the human body can do, but, uh, you can just comment below, tell me more of what you guys want me to talk about. And if you want to help donate to the, my rescued equines, you can go to stephanieperson.com and hit the donate button right there. I'm also going to try to add a second merchant account on my website. Cause a lot of people don't want to do the pay you know, PAL anymore. So I'm going to try to expand so I don't have to just use them and use both. Um, and uh, super excited. I think I'm going to run a challenge in January or February where it's going to be more like a course like I did years ago. And I'm working on all new programs that include these subjects that so we can do the deep dive. Like if you're going to do a well-formulated low-carb, high-fat diet or if you're going to do well-formulated keto or if you're going to do a well-formulated carnivore, how do you do this so you don't completely age yourself too quickly and jack up your hormones? Stuff's learning. I've been doing this for a long, long time. Life is good. Uh, comment below. You can go to my Instagram, which is Stephanie Ketogenic, or my Facebook fan page, which is Stephanie the Business Person. And I'm out because now I have to relax because for the first time in two years after moving out of California and going to crazy ass Texas and moving to Tennessee, picking up more freaking horses, I'm going to bed early again because I'm obsessed with taking care of my adrenal glands. Peace. Is that my horse? I think that's my horse. I think that's my big horse. I'm going to go give him a big kiss. Energy, energy, energy. Engage.